This is the, the jacket substructure arriving in the field on a, a transportation barge. Again, nothing new technology-wise here. This has been done countless number of times in the offshore oil and gas sector. The jacket substructure weighs just over 700 tonnes. It's picked up with a heavy left vessel in the, the horizontal, rotated to the vertical, and then lowered down onto the seabed. In each corner, there's a circular area. That's where you drive a steel pile into each corner, which effectively fixes the jacket substructure uh, onto the seabed. Each pile is driven 35 metres into the subsurface. So that's your jacket now fully installed, ready to receive the, the turbine. So the heavy lift vessel will then go to the onshore assembly site to pick up the fully assembled turbine, which you can see here. Now, from an offshore oil and gas perspective, this is a relatively minor lift. It's in weight terms. It's just under 1,000 tonnes. But again, for offshore renewables, this had never been uh, attempted in the past. But it was also a very complex lift because it had a very high centre of gravity. As you can imagine, the bulk of the weight is in the turbine itself. Uh, so the bulk of the weight was at the top of the tower, so it was a very complex lift. Once you're in the field, the heavy lift vessel then positions itself on its anchors to enable it to move into position and then land the fully assembled turbine onto the pre-installed uh, substructure. And just to give you an idea of scale, the pitch circle diameter, the swept area for the rotor, is equivalent to two full-size uh, football pitches. So the scale of these turbines is completely different from anything that you'll see on shore. So once you've landed the turbine on the pre-installed uh, substructure, you can then lower it into position using hydraulic jacks so that you don't introduce any shock loads into the turbine during that installation process. Decouple all your installation equipment, return to the shore, and do your second turbine installation. Now, one other thing I would like to point out, we used the same heavy lift vessel for doing all the offshore installation work because this was only a two turbine installation. In a full field development, like the two sites that we have in the Scottish Round, for example, which are just under a gigawatt, you'll be doing this operation 200 times if you use five megawatt machines. So you would have dedicated marine spreads for each of these offshore activities. So you'd have a, a, a specific vessel for doing jacket installation, a specific vessel for doing turbine installation, and they would just be a continuous offshore process.